Here we go, lesson 14, and we're switching it up. We're doing, gonna do the angry birds this time. All right, so we've used conditionals, and that means using if loops or if else loops, and we've also used while loops, and now we're gonna use an until loop. So let's get started. Get the angry bird to the pig. Okay, so we've got the same commands we are used to seeing. So we're going to have to go forward, turn left, go forward, turn left, go forward. And uh, I've got to count this out here. Looks like there's four and then we turn left and four we turn left. So repeating four times, moving forward. And then we turn left. And we repeat that whole loop because this is a nested loop. We've done this before three times. All right, so we're gonna repeat. Let's see how we did. He made it. Okay, we're gonna go into lesson 14, the until loops in maze. Time to watch a video. Go ahead and watch along in code.org if you've got two tabs open or follow the link here. Thank you, Chris Bosch. Let's try using the repeat until loops. Okay, lesson 14, until loops in maze. Here we go with our pre-assessment quiz. Take a look at the code below. What do you think will happen when you click run? A, the bird will not move at all. B, the bird will make it to the pig. Or C, the bird will move forward and run into the TNT. What do you think? Well, I think he'll make it to the pig. Let's check it out. We've used the wild path ahead before and looks like we got there. Okay, lesson 14, part number four, get the bird to the pig. And we've got a repeat until loop, which we're probably gonna use. So we're going to have to, let's see, move forward, turn right um, and left. So we're going to have to move forward, turn right, move forward. Looks kind of like stairs. So let's hope this here works. All right, so I'm just gonna give this a go. Sometimes it's tricky to see the path but sometimes I find it helpful when I use my mouse or my finger and I kind of drag along the screen. All right, let's look at lesson 14, Until Loops and Maze, part puzzle five. Dear person, me, zombie, me, hungry, must get to sunflower. Can you get the zombie to the sunflower using only the blocks that are available? So we are going to repeat until we have a sunflower, but what are we going to do? Uh, again, it's stairs, so forward, and then turn left, forward, turn right, forward, left, forward, right, forward, left, forward, right. Okay, so repeat until there. We're going to go forward, left, forward, right. Do you guys see it any other way? Uh, this is a new block down here. If path to the left path to the right. So I wonder if we could use that. Well, path ahead, move forward, path left. I don't know. I wonder what it's going to say. Brains. So I'm just going to do a replay, uh, or you can fast forward a little bit till I get to lesson 14, part six, and I'm just going to give this a try. If path to the left, turn left, if path to the right, turn right, and while path ahead. Move forward and repeat this whole thing. Let's see what happens. Brains. Uh, 
I think this is making my computer tired. It's starting to spin. So this is taking a lot longer. It's having to sense through it. Um, but it did work. So I think uh, even though it does work, this ec this block makes like extra steps in this particular pot, uh, part, and this would be a way, way better option. There's a lot less blocks. So I'm going to go on to, we knew it already worked, so I'm going to go on to lesson six, or puzzle six. Use the if block to help the zombie decide when to turn, then get the zombie to the sunflower. Go ahead and pause and give it a try. Okay, I'm wondering what you came up with. I'm going to try while well, path ahead and then turn left and repeat until I get to the sunflower. Brains. I hope it worked whatever you tried. Um, this one has four blocks of code. <laughs> Lesson number seven, help the zombie get to the sunflower. So here we go again. We can repeat until we get to the sunflower and we got to go through those different steps. Pause here and give it a try. I keep getting distracted by this block down here of path to the left or path to the right, and I want to use it, but I don't really need to because it just adds an extra block when this will just continue to repeat until I get to the sunflower, move path ahead, and in the particular course, it's just going right. So when I run it, it goes forward and then has to turn right, continues to go forward while there's a path, turns right, goes forward to get to that sunflower. Hope you had success as well. And let's go on to lesson 14, part number eight. Get the zombie, get to the, help the zombie get to the sunflower. Pause it here and give it a try. How did you do? I've got mine running as I press play again here and and uh, still don't need to use if path to the left do. So um, I'll just show you my code if you need to pause it and you want to give it a copy uh, over in your code.org window, repeat until while path ahead and you're going to turn left so you repeat until you get to that sunflower all right lesson number nine or puzzle number nine is a challenge puzzle so at this point if you want to um just pause and move on that's fine i'll make another video starting here with the challenge puzzle good luck to you and great job coding